What the heck is Marxism anyway, and do I really have to read all those books like Das Kapital in order to understand it? This brief introduction to Marxism will explain a little bit about the background of Marxism, where it came from, what Marxism is not, what Marxism is in reality, not the myths about it, and why the capitalist class is still afraid of Marxism and still attacks it. Marxism built on earlier work, on German philosophy, on French socialism, and on English political economy, and Marx and Engels worked to unify these into a single coherent theory. Marx started Marxism studying philosophy and then studying economics. Frederick Engels helped, especially with science and math, and Lenin worked to apply it to a real-life revolutionary situation. Marxism is not about who can recite the most quotes from Marx, Engels, or Lenin. They wrote many, many books and many, many articles, but it is actually about using the ideas in real-life struggles. Because Marxism is not an abstract dogma. The point of understanding is so that we can become active, conscious participants in creating change. Only when we understand how change takes place can we make smart choices about struggle, strategy, and tactics. Philosophers have tried to understand the world. The point, however, is to change it. Marxism is not about violent revolution, no matter what some ultra-leftists or right-wing fanatics say. Marxism is about all kinds of struggle, about creating a better world. Marxism is a method used to look at history, economics, and politics in order to understand the underlying drivers of change. Because there are patterns to change, including to social and political change, if we know what those patterns are, we can play a conscious role in creating positive change. How does change happen? Some change is the result of innovations and changes in technology, science, and production. But major social, economic, and political change happens through the active involvement, struggle, and organization of millions of people. What people, you ask? Classes of people. It's all about that class, about that class, class struggle. All recorded history has in large part been about the struggles between ruling classes and exploited classes. Slaveholders and slaves, feudal lords and serfs, capitalists and workers. And these classes fight and struggle over laws, over money, over power, over control, and over a future for ourselves, our children, our grandchildren, and our planet. Class struggle is about the labor movement and other workers' movements, about the many racial and gender civil rights movements, the women's movement, the youth and seniors' movements, the environmental, immigrant rights, and peace movements, and many more. To say it another way, it's about building a majority movement that is multiracial, multinational, multigender, multigenerational, and multi-issue, about creating democracy not only in our political lives but also in our social and economic lives. Capitalists are still afraid of Marxism. They're afraid of its explanatory power that explains the world as it is, its explanatory power to point a way to fundamental change for the better for the vast majority. And you can tell they're still afraid of it because anytime anyone criticizes the super rich, right-wing politicians howl that they're trying to engage in class warfare. 
There's lots more. You can get involved, join a union, join a community or civil rights organization, vote, and engage in electoral struggle. You can engage in self-study. There are plenty of Marxist classics and political websites uh, that can give you material. But the truth comes not just from lectures and debates. It comes from active participation in the struggle. You can join the Communist Party USA and do all those things together. So we'll see you in the struggle. Peace out.